Although Hugo Chavez has been coming here to Havana for over a year for cancer treatment, we still know almost nothing about the Venezuelan leader's illness. So right now we're going to try to go to places where we might learn at least a little information about how Chavez is doing and what Chavez's cancer might mean for Cuba. It's not even clear, though, which hospital Chavez is being treated at. I'm outside the CIMIC hospital in Havana, where the more difficult surgeries in Cuba are carried out. It's believed that both Fidel Castro and Hugo Chavez have been treated here over the years for their health problems. And because this hospital, like all hospitals in Cuba, is controlled by the government, that guarantees Chavez a degree of privacy. Some people would say secrecy. There are even stories about whole floors of people being moved out of the hospital when Chavez comes here to be treated. But right now, we're not seeing any signs of unusual activity. While shooting this video, though, members of the Cuban military tell us to leave. It's not the only place where Chavez might be that's off limits. I'm as close as we can get to that guest house where Hugo Chavez often stays during his many visits to Cuba. It's an area of luxurious homes, official embassy residences, and government buildings. So there's a lot of security personnel that just don't want us filming here. Hugo Chavez, of course, is a close friend of Fidel Castro's, and he gives millions of dollars of aid every year to Cuba. So it's not surprisingly that he has one of the most spectacular homes. Chavez's generosity has forged a close alliance between the two countries. I'm outside a Venezuelan cultural center, one of the many projects that Hugo Chavez's government has built to strengthen the ties between the Cuban and Venezuelan people. I'm going to go inside and see if there's anyone here who can tell us anything about Hugo Chavez's condition. A panel discussion being held about a new documentary on Chavez turned somber with the news of his ill health. My commander-in-chief has been the man to take on problems, he said. We have overcome every obstacle. And now, with this battle to survive, he will figure that out, too. Cubans also are worried about Chavez's fragile health. With Hugo Chavez falling ill yet again, there's a very real worry you hear all over Havana about what does this mean for Cuba. People remember all too well the fall of the Soviet Union and the economic meltdown that took place afterwards. Hugo Chavez's policies have kept this island afloat, sending millions of barrels of oil here, and it's not clear if his successor would continue those policies. So now the fear here for many Cubans is that Hugo Chavez's cancer, the return to those difficult times. Patrick Upman, CNN, Havana.